start talking about. So, you know, um, International Women's Day is uh, one of the biggest holidays, one of the most enjoyable holidays in Russia, uh, in Russian former Soviet Union. And, uh, you know, it is a tradition that um, <coughs> at this day, men do all work at home. They take care of kids, uh, they prepare food, they do laundry if necessary. So, as a uh, they try to be very nice and very kind people at least one one, one day uh, a year. <laughs> they, they buy flowers. They buy uh, they buy different gifts uh, to their uh, to their women. And um, this day is a day off, as a holiday uh, in, in, in Soviet it was in Soviet Union and certainly in Russia. So, um, and this day is very international. Um, if you know the history of this day, it started uh, here in the United States, but it became in um, 1910. Uh, and it became more popular in my part of the world, and people here don't, don't know very much about this holiday. So, and you see this poster, uh, postcard from Soviet Union that shows that um, Russian women and women from other parts of the world, they are friends, they uh, collaborate, they, um, uh, they celebrate uh, their freedom, they celebrate uh, women's rights, and uh, uh, they work together. So in this uh, kids who, uh, who congratulate their moms with uh, this International um, Women's Day. So, um, you know, one time uh, I had a Chinese speaker in my class, and he showed um, to class this CCP, and he asked people, like, do you know, guys, what CCP is? No one knew besides me, because CCP is a U <laughs> USSR. SSSR. SSSR, yes, so you are right. Uh, so SSSR uh, was the biggest country, largest country in the world. It is, uh, you know that Russia is still the, larger, uh, the largest country in the world. And I personally came from this part, from over here, this Kyrgyzstan, close to China. Uh, recently I get my DNA and I found that I have Chinese gene, I have, uh, I have uh, German, I have um, Scandinavian, I have Eastern European and also Middle East, so it is a mixture. So my father is from this region and my mother is from Ukraine, which is oh. far away. So I grew up in both cultures and travel every summer, you know, to, to vis uh, visiting my grandmother in Ukraine. And I end up in Russia. I went to Russia, um, to Voronezh State University for my um, undergraduate degree. And uh, after collapse of Soviet Union, I automatically, because of my residence, became Russian citizen. So uh, now I, mm, I, I'm saying that my mother is Ukrainian, my father is Kyrgyz, and I, I'm Russian. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, you know, in this big country, uh, during, after the uh, revolution, the situation was, um, in terms of literacy, very bad. In 1917, it was approximately 80% of population illiterate. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge governmental campaign, governmental started the campaign to, um, to educate people. So in 1950s, about 100% uh, people were able to read, to write, and you know, do very simple things. So, and uh, this campaign was very, um, uh, very positive and very, you know, forceful. Uh, this poster shows that, um, you know, knowledge is associated with the sunrise. Mm -hmm. And no knowledge it is darkness. Mm -hmm. So people have to go towards sun. Uh, because with sun, with the knowledge, we get more uh, opportunities. We are more educated. We um, uh, get more uh, different uh, opportunities for work and for development. Uh, this poster shows uh, the library. And it says that everyone 
um, everyone must become a reader, a member of a local library. And it was true. People were required. It was mandatory to be part of the library, to be a member of the library. So here is the campaign. And um, uh, this, this poster said, said, if you don't, uh, if you will not read books, uh, you don't forget, you don't forget, uh, you know, knowledge, you don't forget how to read. And it is interesting that the book that uh, this lady is reading is called uh, 10 Days at Shark Deville. This is uh, John, John Reed, uh, wrote about um, revolution in Russia. And also he experienced um, what he wrote. What he wrote. Uh, uh, this woman uh, <coughs> said uh, that you have to, if you educated, you have to educate other people. So um, it becomes a responsibility of people to think not only about your own education, but about other people. If someone in your community does not know how to read, how to write, it is your responsibility to teach, to help this person. Um, how mother role was um, considered during that time? Uh, this poster said, um, like, mom, you have to learn um, uh, reading and writing. If you would be able to, you know, to, to read, to write, you will be able to help your daughter. Uh, you will be able to, you would be able to help your children. And this poster says, um, don't punish your children. Don't beat them, uh, but it is better to buy a bo uh, books for them. So <laughs> switch your, you know, type of uh, mm, uh, education, um, how you treat your kids from punishment to encouragement to knowledge. Um, this, this poster said, you should not raise children like this to <laughs> get them spoiled because, you know, um, rich people at that time were associated with those people who, who don't do anything, just they, um, they get accustomed to receive from other people, um, like parents do everything for this young, young guy. So you should, we should not raise people like this. But people have to grow, children have to grow to be independent and try to learn and try to achieve. So this girl said, like grandmother, don't um, don't um, help me. I will do myself. I will accomplish my home work myself. So this is very important that um, this girl does um, her, her job independently because she is a very responsible person. Um, so revolution and Soviet government gave um, social freedom to women. Um, these posters they are very similar. They show that. Um, you know, with education, uh, with revolution, um, we, uh, we, um, we, uh, we will uh, overcome um, our, you know, dependence on um, things at home. Like, uh, stop, stop, you know, be concentrated on what you do at home. Uh, like, uh, leave alone your laundry but go and build the society. So the focus shift from, uh, from taking care of home to taking care of the uh, entire country. And um, social, uh, social freedom, so like knowledge and mm, new type of work will create a new type of life, lifestyle. And we will be able to build like peasants and workers we will be able to build a new life for our children, and they will be happy. And this poster is very interesting. Uh, this young lady, she go, uh, she dates with a guy uh, who took her to the you know community community center, cultural center where uh, they listen to Lenin. You remember the Lenin uh, was a um, uh, leader of. Uh, Communist Party and the um, uh, revolution. And uh, this guy, she probably dated before with him, 
Um, he represents this type of person who uh, is not interested in, interested in learning, but he is more, you know, interested in material things. So now she switched to her interest from a, this type of person to another type of person. <laughs> so social uh, freedom for women. So women are free right now, and they um, they build a new society. They they build uh, socialism. So if you look at the um, features of her face, facial features, uh, she is strong, like very masculine. Uh, because she is ready to fight for her freedom and for <coughs> socialism, because socialism is, uh, mm, um, you know, is the way when, uh, when people will treat, uh, treat treat each other equally, and uh, uh, so it was a goal for um, for our country at that time. Uh, as you know, the uh, Soviet Union um, were, uh, consisted of 15 republics. Right, of 15 republics, and uh, we uh, and those republics, so the country was considered as a family. So we uh, it's that uh, like one family of different republics. So this is different flags represent different republics um, united under you know one uh, nation, Soviet Union. And people here, they are Russian. They are they say that uh, everyone. Person to person is a friend and brother and comrade. So we are open to everyone, we welcome everyone, and uh, we treat everyone equally, like our brothers. So this notion was, um, you know, spread um, across all nations, um, in all republics, and uh, as you see, this uh, this um, this person is from. Uh, Uzbekistan, this is Uzbekistan, this is from Kyrgyzstan. Uh, girl who uh, got opportunity to go to school and to learn and to develop herself. So this is very famous poster in my mm, uh, native country, Kyrgyzstan, because it was associated you know, with a um, rural, uh, rural uh, girl who now is, uh, instead of working in a farm, is given opportunity to learn and to grow. Can I ask yeah. Oh, were there fees to go to school? Or was no, education and medicine was free. So it was about socialism. Um, government control uh, and owned all enterprises and government uh, provided everything support for everyone. So education was free. I never paid for my education. Uh, yeah, this is about um, about um, election, that we elect people, uh, we give our um, voices uh, for, uh, for Soviet Union, for Soviet idea, for Soviet people. So like we support our socialist motherland, we vote for a uh, happy life, and she's, she's the person who has all the rights into, into country. Um, professional freedom for women. So women are, mm, you know, working mm, in different fields. And this poster is interesting uh, because it it uh, it used a quote uh, from Stalin, Joseph Stalin. женщины в колхозах большая сила. Like women in our collective farms is a huge power. So we respect women, we recognize that their, uh, their involvement, their health is very powerful and very important. And she looks happy. It is, uh, you know, during Stalin time, um, it was a campaign to show that people are happy. So you will see poster that shows happiness. Um, this woman represents a work, working people class and um, uh, this poster is about the quality of pro product um, made in Russia, uh, Soviet, uh, Soviet Union uh, factories and plants. So it says that Soviet quality means great quality, the perfect quality. So it was not actually true. Uh, we didn't have very many, <laughs> you know, this is an ideology. <laughs> we, this is where we should go. And uh, <clears throat> it was inspirational for people. Um, another thing is, another 
pictures and other photos of like women are working in different places and communication. And in uh, the work is Dokter, for example, uh, here. Uh, this woman uh, represents, you see, um, uh, her dress is, is uh, Uzbekistan. No, she's from Uzbekistan. And it was, uh, it was true. Um, school, a school teacher, the image of school teacher was very, very positive image. Uh, we respected uh, our teachers very much. And the social status of people in education was very high at that time because they brought knowledge, they brought like life uh, in people's lives, they gave the opportunity. So, and it was true, education was very uh, good quality uh, during Soviet time because of education, um, you know, the uh, Soviet Union was able to uh, achieve many things. And uh, we have September 1st, when um, children start their school, this is the first day of school, uh, we celebrate, uh, still celebrate in Russia as a day of knowledge. So, and usually during this day, children come to school with flowers and they are dressed up very well and uh, they, mm, they have lessons about peace, about girls, about, you know, uh, knowledge, important, important knowledge. They have guest speakers. So th they have this type of um, classes. Right, same day. in German. Oh, very good. Same so, yeah. yes, it's an uh, influence of Soviet yeah, Union. Stuff. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. I did it purposely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, economic development because of knowledge, uh, as I said, country was, um, um, you know, achieved many different, uh, very important things. And it is interesting that. Um, uh, in command, planned economy, everything was planned during five years. Uh, so this five years we call Pitiletka, like five years plan. And sometimes we get seven years, uh, uh, just to make it uh, like to fit to the calendar years, like for example, from um, from 50 to 55, from 55, uh, 56 to uh, 60. So, uh, so Excuse they, me. Yeah. Well, what for city was that? What city? This is Moscow. Oh, yes. This is Moscow. This is a red square. Okay. Yeah, this is a Kremlin. And oh, this is a historical museum. Yeah. Yeah. This is a mausoleum. So this is Moscow. And this is a parade, a military parade. Uh, it is tradition. Uh, it goes every year uh, on uh, May 9th. Every year we have. So because of uh, all these achievements, um, we had the first woman uh, who went to, uh, to space, and her name is Valentina Tereshkova. She's still alive. Uh, she is a very um, recognized person because uh, of uh, this accomplishment. So, and she, uh, she flew to space in um, June 1963. And in this country, uh, I decided to, um, uh, to remind people uh, in this slide about Yuri Gagarin, who was the first man in space. Uh, usually in this country, people don't know uh, about it. Well, we <laughs> heard a great deal about that. Yeah, I know. That you, you, your generation know more than the younger generation, oh, yeah. unfortunately. Um, so, and uh, very soon we will have, uh, we will uh, have a um, day of cosmonautics day. Uh, we will celebrate um, anniversary of the first flight. It is uh, April 12, uh, 1961. So political freedom for women, as I already said, women, uh, women had all rights like men, and they voted. This poster shows that uh, on this day was a day when we had elections, so uh, she uh, she shows the calendar uh, point, uh, pointing that uh, we have to participate in the election. Um, it, um, I don't know if you uh, if you are aware that during Soviet time participation in elections was mandatory. If uh, you don't come to the school where election goes, they will come to you. They will find you. They will make you to vote. It was 100% <laughs> participation. Mm -hmm. What year did women get the vote?
vote in Russia? Um, I think from the, no, maybe not from the beginning. I don't no. remember exactly, I cannot tell you. But it was very early, at the, maybe in the 20s. Yeah, 20s. So, and so women not only can vote, but they can be elected. So this woman represents a person who is already elected and represents the government. Um, like everywhere, we didn't have many uh, women in the government, and we still don't have very many, but we have them. At least to show that we exist. So, the same um, about same, and uh, uh, everyone here probably knows this uh, image of uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, and uh, all these uh, three gentlemen uh, were very important for um, uh, you know, establishing socialism, socialism in Russia. And you probably also know this, uh, these people, do you? Uh, so Marx, Engels, and Lenin. Okay, Lenin? Engels, Engels. Uh, yeah, and Marx, right. And it is um, interesting because um, Lenin mentions that education will give everyone uh, a chance to be um, you know, to be educated, to be trained to the level uh, that people can make decisions in the government, to become a, a part of the government. So, and this is a joke that, um, you know, par par paraphrased by um, uh, one of the poets, like, uh, So, like, we will teach every housewife how to be the country. And this is a joke. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Russian people, yeah, Russian, Soviet people have a good sense of humor. When you don't have very many material things, you know, you develop sense of humor. <clears throat> so, public health and social responsibility. I found this poster very interesting uh, because, um, because uh, you know, I never, you know, I just recently found it. Uh, this type of posters were not uh, posted everywhere, but they were in doctor offices. Um, it, it was about that women have to take care of themselves, of their breasts, to avoid, you know, problems, to avoid cancer, and uh, um, doing exercises and taking um, taking care of your body is not only for you, but it is also your social responsibility because. This is uh, um, your health and um, belongs also, uh, you know, to, to your country because you supposed to build socialism. You supposed to uh, build better society. So you have to contribute to your country. So you have to be responsible for your health. Do you like this notion? <laughs> <laughs> so this is about the sport and um, you know uh, leisure time. Uh, so very, uh, was very popular. My mother uh, was very, you know, athletic type of woman. Uh, her school and everything was very uh, set up very well. So uh, during leisure time, people have to uh, spend outside uh, to do some, you know, camping, go to some places, uh, explore the um, uh, countryside. Uh, because Russia is a huge country and it has so many beautiful places. So uh, people were encouraged to travel around the country. And many people took this advantage uh, because the um, cost of traveling was not very high. People, uh, people were not very spoiled. They didn't want, you know, didn't require a very expensive hotel. So they were satisfied with the small uh, hotels and um, staying in camps. But traveling with friends, with family, was one of, was part of the culture in, in Soviet Union. And during holidays, uh, people dressed up and um, uh, you know uh, get dancing. So, so it was uh, very well organized. And the posters is about again intention of the government, how it should be, because uh, it can be different, different things. So. Um, in my presentation, I covered three things, like International Women's Day, uh, literacy campaign. I spoke about um, Soviet Union and Soviet Republic. We, we spoke about social, professional, political freedom, mother's role, public health and social respons responsibility, and leisure time of Soviet people. And now I want to hear your questions.
I'm a stamp collector, and mm -hmm. it occurs to me that many of the themes mm -hmm. that are presented in these posters mm -hmm. are probably parallel yeah, sure. with, uh, with the stamp collect uh, the stamp issuing yeah, right, right. policy uh, of the country. Yeah, uh, many people in the uh, Soviet Union were encouraged to collect stamps, and I did uh, for a while, but uh, I found that it, it was boring for me, so I stopped doing that. But, uh, I admire your, your hobby. <laughs> it's great. Well, he collects stamps. I collect postcards. Oh. You got any postcards? Yeah, yeah it is true. Yeah. yeah we we have many of this. Uh, like, this is a postcard, and this is a poster. <coughs> so, yeah, some of them uh, use this po uh, postcard. Are, are, some, of those, like are some of those postcards? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. Some of them. I, I cannot tell. For example, this probably. I'm not sure. I don't know. But this is this is a postcard. This is postcard. Post Every 